Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, people? Welcome back to another edition of Mike on Sports, man. We got some news from Javante Davis. Matter of fact, I'm going to just let him tell you. Kirk Stevenson. Of course, he's not 135 after all that stuff. And then Devin Haney. Right. So why people even talk like he the best at... He didn't even fight at 135 yet. Right. He didn't even, he, he didn't even have power at 126, I mean, 126, 30, or nothing. He is good. Okay. How can you stop people that can actually hit? No matter all that boxing, you're going to get hit. Now, look, Javante Davis is absolutely right, man. He has a lot of power. And we have not seen Shakur Stevenson get hit by somebody with the type of power that Javante Davis has. But with that being said, I know, I know, I know, Mike, fuck the eye test, fuck the eye test. But when I look at Shakur Stevenson, I see a world-class boxer who has the potential one day to be the best pound for pound fighter in the world. When I look at Tank, I see a dude who has raw ability and has absolutely concussive one punch knockout power. So if I'm like gonna like pick somebody, I like I like the box of puncher, man. I like some somebody who can 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 do more than one thing in the ring. And when I look at Shakur Stevenson, I'm looking at somebody who can do a lot in the ring. Not saying Javante Davis can't do multiple stuff in the ring, but I think that the tool bag from Shakur Stevenson is a little bit deeper than Javante Davis. And one thing that that has to be said, power does not equate to everything. Power doesn't doesn't guarantee you a win. This is the sweet science. This is boxing. This is when two gladiators get in the ring and they have to break another man's will. Have we seen anybody have we seen Javante in the ring with anybody as good as Shakur Stevenson? I don't think so. Hell, I would even go as far have we seen anybody Javante in the ring is good, like as uh, uh, Oscar, the dude who had the T, Oscar Valdez. I don't know. I mean, you can say Pedraza, and that's really about it. Roley Romero is not on the level of Oscar Valdez or Shakur Stevenson, in my opinion. So when you're looking at it and you're actually breaking it down, I would say that Shakur Stevenson ha has the little or more deeper resume than what Javante Davis has. But Javante Davis is absolutely right. We don't we do not know how Shakur is gonna react to his power. And we don't know if Shakur can take that kind of power from somebody like Javante Davis. He also pointed out that he didn't have power at 126, didn't have a power at 130. So what makes us think that he's gonna have power at 135? That was a good point by Javante Davis. But the last time that I checked, in this boxing sport, skills pay the bills. When Floyd Mayweather got deeper and deeper in his career, he wasn't knocking people out. He was simply outboxing them. You couldn't touch them. And right now in the sport of boxing, Shakur Stevenson opponents do not land a whole lot of punches on him. But this is a fight, in my opinion, that would be a mega fight down the road. So I'm excited in the future to possibly get these two guys in the ring with each other. Probably going to be around the 140, 140 weight limit. But man, Shakur Stevenson, Javante Davis, sign me up. I'm ready for it. But I know I'm going to have to wait a couple more years. Until next time, man. Peace out. Edited by Michael and Sports. Please smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out this thing.